Back in the northern Rockies, however, the Rangers urgently needed men on the ground. But men willing to fight fires were in short supply. In the summer of 1910, you had the Forest Service that only had, had fewer than 500 Rangers nationwide. Uh, but they knew that they were going to get in a lot of trouble that summer. And so they opened the coffers and they said, go out and hire everybody you can find. The forest rangers assembled an army of men, most of them immigrants. They paid them 25 cents an hour and the immigrants came from all over. They're putting out the call. We're going to fight this thing. We're going to attack these hundreds of fires. It's 100 degrees, it's dry, it's dusty, it's on really tough vertical terrain. A lot of people suffered injuries. They quit, they mutinied. At one point, they literally said, men, men, men. They, they opened the jails of Missoula, Montana. They let felons out, convicted murders. Some guys who had their handcuffs on when they were sent out to the front lines. So any male with a pulse was thrown against this fire. 